Hi, it's Jen from Polk County Public Libraries, and today I'm going to tell you about our June Take and Make Craft Kit for Kids. So this month we are making super cute paper plate jellyfish. So you can pick up your free kit at Columbus or Saluda Library and follow along with this video and I will show you how to make this. I also wanted to remind you that our summer learning program is coming up. That's going to start the week of June 13th. So that Monday you can sign up at either of our libraries or online for our summer learning program. If you've participated in the last two years, it's gonna be the same format. So each week you will turn in a learning goal bookmark with the two learning goals that you completed. And that will get you a brag tag, an entry into our weekly prize drawing and an entry into our grand prize drawing. So stop by the library or our website starting June 13th. Also that week, we'll start uh, our special performers that we're going to have on Thursdays at two o'clock. So you can find that schedule up on our website or Facebook page and we have flyers around the library as well. And Professor Wiskopf will be our first performer that Thursday, June 16th. This will do a promotion of the Ocean Magic Show. So make sure to pick up a schedule of events to come to some fun programs this summer. But stay tuned to this video to make a cute paper plate jellyfish. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make your paper plate jellyfish. So in your kit, you have a few different things. You have a piece of tissue paper. You have a paper plate that's been cut in half with some holes punched in it. You have two giant googly eyes. And you have some pieces of yarn. And then other things that you will need are a black marker and a glue stick. So first we're going to start by tearing our tissue paper. And we're just gonna make a pretty background for the jellyfish's body. It's gonna match its tentacles gonna make with the yarn. So tear the tissue paper up into tiny pieces. Probably won't need the whole thing. And then you're going to take your glue stick and you're going to put the glue on the plate and then you're going to use that tissue paper as your background and if it goes a little further over the sides like I'm doing you can use um, some scissors to trim that up later if you don't have scissors um, you might just want to have the tissue paper not overlap or you could glue it to the back of the plate so this is just a way to make our jellyfish nice and colorful by using the tissue paper. And also, I'm going to get my scissors here. If your tissue paper takes off the side, you can cut it and then you can reuse that piece. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can leave some white space if you want. It is up to whatever you want to do artistically. You are the artist here. And add one more little piece right there. All right. So there is my jellyfish and I'm going to add the eyes. These are pretty big googly eyes. So you might want to use Elmer's glue, but if you use a glue stick, just make sure you give it plenty of time to dry before you start playing with it. I love these giant googly eyes. They are lots of fun. And if you get some glue on them, you can just try to wipe that off with a baby wipe or some water later. And then you have your black marker to make a little mouth. So you can make a little smiley face or whatever kind of mouth you want to give your jellyfish. Also might want to wait to do that step until the glue is dry, but I think mine looks pretty cute. All right, so we are finished with the glue, and our last step is going to be adding on the jellyfish tentacles. So you're gonna take each piece of yarn, they're pretty long pieces, and I'm 
I'm going to double it up. So I'm going to fold it in half. And I find this is the easiest way for me to tie a piece of string. So I'm going to put both open ends of that yarn <clears throat> through one of the holes and pull it through until it almost gets to the end. Then I'm going to take that end loop and pull the string through and you'll see it makes a little knot like that. And you have some pretty long tentacles. So let me do one more to show you. So you'll take a piece of yarn, you'll fold it in half, you have a loop at one end, and you have two cut pieces at the other end. You're going to stick the two cut pieces through the hole, pull them, and then you're going to take the loop, loop the open end through and pull it tight. So you're gonna repeat that for all the holes in your jellyfish. And then you'll have a very cute jellyfish after I do this. I'll post a picture at the end of this video. And please email me at jdickinson at polklibrary.org if you wanna show me a picture of your jellyfish. Have fun.